Welcome back to Black News Tonight. It is now time to see what is going on in the digital streets. A video of rapper Busta Rhymes at a recent concert has surfaced, and Busta, in the video, is going on a rant against masks. According to the Jasmine brand, the hip-hop veteran took the opportunity to go on an anti-mask rant during a St. Louis concert. He got some personal feelings off of his chest. He said, no human being supposed to tell you you can't breathe freely. The performer, born Trevor George Smith Jr., he had some choice words for the audience. He said, blank your mask, I'm saying. Some of you might feel differently, but F your mask. The rapper followed up. The video is currently going viral and it's striking up a lot of conversations on social media. I'm gonna say this. Buster Rhymes, my brother, got a love for your music, got admiration for you as a person, think you're an extraordinary brother. Hey, this isn't personal, but what you did this time was a terrible idea, my brother. First of all, in a room full of people, even if you're outside, in a crowd of people, telling people that masks are not important and that masks don't matter or that masks are dangerous or F the mask is not just affecting the people in that outside situation. It's affecting all the people that watch you, all the people that admire you, all the people that bang with you. Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say, well, you know, you did this a month ago. The Delta variant is spiking. Maybe you didn't realize that we were not on the other side of the pandemic yet. I don't want to make an assumption about your full science on this. But I will say that when you say it violates your liberty, that you have a God-given right to freedom, that's true, but we also have a, a duty to each other, a duty to community. This isn't about individuals' choices. You know, if you don't wanna wear a mask, I say don't wear a mask. If you don't wanna get vaccinated, I say don't get vaccinated. But I also say stay in the house. But I can't go outside. I can't be in the mix, I can't be at the club, I can't be at the party, I can't be at the supermarket coughing or just breathing within close proximity to people with no mask and no vaccination. We got to think about this differently, brother. This is not about liberty. That liberty talk is the language of the right wing. That's the language of the conservatives who act like their liberty, their freedom is bound up in not only being able to make their own choices, but making choices that go against the interests of other people. I know, brother, you got knowledge of self. I know you believe in the day's mathematics. I know you believe in science. And the same science that tells us what makes rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes tells us that we got to protect each other from infectious diseases. And this is definitely a dangerous one, my brother. So just please reconsider telling this to crowds of people. You can believe what you want, but we can't do this to the people. All right. As the school year kicks off, some students are thrilled to find that their new classmate is an NBA star. Two-time NBA champion J.R. Smith just started his first semester at North Carolina A&T. Smith previously skipped college in 2004 to enter the NBA draft straight from high school. Now, 17 years later, the baller is getting his college education at a HBCU, I love it, and he's pursuing a degree in liberal arts. And on top of that, Smith plans to show off his golf skills as he has been declared by the NCAA eligible to join the university's golf team. I love this. J.R. Smith has taken so much heat, so much flack, especially after uh, that last or the, the, the NBA Finals appearance with LeBron James where he didn't have a time right on the clock and people came for him and clowned him. People sometimes say that he smokes too much weed or he parties too much and does whatever. But J.R. Smith is a role model for me. This brother made all the money he needs in a lifetime, went to straight to the NBA from high school, College is not something he needs, but it's something that he wants. He wants an education. He's pursuing knowledge for knowledge's sake. He's pursuing knowledge to be able to pursue other dreams, and he's doing it. We could learn from J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith is talking about reinvention. He's done playing basketball, but he's a hell of a golfer. He said, you know what? I'm going to go to college and play college golf. He's going to go from being an elite athlete to a college golfer. Why? Because he wants to try new things. He wants to become an, uh, an amateur at something else and grow potentially into a pro in something else. And I have no reason not to bet on J.R. Smith. And I also love what J.R. Smith did because he did it at an HBCU. He could have gone to Duke or North Carolina. He could have went somewhere and played elite level golf. He could have went somewhere. He could have gone somewhere, excuse my language, and, and done something different. But he said, I'm going to go where my people at. 
I'm going to go for black people. I'm going to support HBCUs. This is a message that should resonate with athletes. It should resonate with anybody who's taking time away from school or for, or for anybody who was told that it's too late. It is never too late for your dreams. Before I go, I want to talk about one more thing. The king of pop constantly solidifies his place in music history. Michael Jackson's legendary thriller album. It's been certified now, family. Get this. 34 times platinum. The album, released in 1982, features timeless tracks like Thriller, Beat It, and more. And it now has sold more than 34 million copies. Now, I'm going to say something first. Y'all can get mad if you want. I actually think Off the Wall is the best Michael Jackson album, not Thriller. I think Thriller is not his best work. But Thriller is extraordinary. And if you could sell 34 million copies of anything... You done did something. Michael Jackson changed the game. He changed music. He is a living legend. And Thriller was the album that turned him from our star to the world star. It's the thing that made him something different, revolutionizing the video, making a range of pop, making an array of pop songs that made him the king of pop. He's a monster. And speaking of monsters, Michael Jackson is one, but we got another one. His name is Prince. And when we come back from the break, my man Teray is going to talk about Prince Rogers Nelson, the man that makes great music and pancakes after he whips you behind in basketball. Stay with us. We'll tell you all about it.